and they have a lot of money to be on fire to form a NASA astronaut, Tom Jones, what he makes of all of this. Tom, good to see you. China is not being sort of, you know, half you know what about this. It's going full throttle, huh? No, if you look at their space program, Neil, it looks like they're trying to play in all the areas of their space program and to show that they're a global competitor in all those areas. So human space station plan for a launch in a couple of years. They're going to go to the moon with their astronauts probably in about 10 years. And now they're spreading into the robotic exploration area where they've been to the moon. They've been to the far side of the moon. Now they're taking that technology and stretching it out to play in the Mars sandbox. Um Eventually, they hope uh, down the road for manned missions. That could be obviously a long way away. But, you know, the, the, the efforts here have been raised hackles in, in, in the United States where some think that they're trying to militarize. Do, do you fear that? Well, we don't see any traces of militarization in these lunar and uh, Mars efforts. These are space science missions, and they host guest instruments and experiments from other countries around the world. So they're opening up a little bit in this uh, scientific realm. But most of the Chinese space program is funded by their military, and particularly their, their human component. So their uh, human orbital flights, their space station, right. the effort to go back to the moon, it's all secret. So that worries me, that part of it. The Mars thing, like you it said, does. could be another area. And I just wonder how we should respond here. What do you think? Well, we're so far ahead of China in this area of Mars exploration specifically. You know, this rover that they're proposing would be their first attempt to land on Mars. About 60 percent of all efforts to land on Mars have failed. And the U.S. is the only successful country to put a lander down on the surface of the planet. So it's very tough to do on the first try. They may succeed. I hope that they do. We'll get some more scientific info out of it. The way we compete is to just keep pushing the frontiers, showing that we can do things in the solar system that no other country can approach. Uh, I would just guess China is about 25 years behind us in this endeavor. Uh, what about all the other countries? I mean, how do you handicap it? Like, who's got an inside... Uh, move here that we should pay attention to? How do you break it down? Well, if we don't do anything on the frontiers of human exploration, for example, if we just let our space station go out of commission in about 10, year, 10 years uh, as planned, then China would certainly take over as the leader in human exploration. They'd have a space station by the mid-2020s, and they could certainly put people on the moon in about 10 years. And at that point, if we did not do it ourselves, they would be the leader in human space exploration. So that's where I handicap it. You know, they've got the budget. It's only about half of NASA's budget. But they are pushing hard to catch up to reach parity with our space capability. And they have a long way to go, but they are steady in their efforts. Uh when it comes to our, you know, the rap against us that we have to hit rides to get into space, that could be changing pretty soon uh, with some of these private, semi-private initiatives started. Uh, that's not a moment too soon, I'm sure, for you. Well, oh, I, I, I totally agree. The, the fact that we gave up our ability to launch astronauts in 2011 when the shuttle retired is a national embarrassment and has been that way for eight years. So we need to get these commercial space transports from Boeing and SpaceX off the ground in the next six months, get our service restored to the space station so NASA can fly from Florida regularly to the space station. And that's the building block that allows NASA to then go beyond that uh, back to the surface of the moon, maybe to the nearby asteroids, and eventually to our horizon goal, which is Mars. And that's the search for life there is the motivation. So, again, if we do not undertake that effort to get humans eventually to Mars, maybe by co-opting the Chinese eventually, then certainly the vacuum will be filled by a China effort to get there. All right. Yeah, we could all pitch in and do that part. Uh, Tom Jones, thank you very much.